This is the beautiful city of Lausanne. Um, now, a few months ago in March, we held the Seed Star Summit, uh, the third edition of the Seed Star Summit, uh, Summit, which is an event where we bring the most amazing and the most um, talented tech entrepreneurs from emerging markets. And they come here in Switzerland, they spend a week here with us, a boot camp, they talk to investors, they pitch in front of a large crowd, and they uh, most importantly meet with each other. And uh, it's funny because I remember the first edition of the Seed Stars Summit three years ago, and I was talking with one of these entrepreneurs, and uh, when he arrived in Switzerland, he was amazed by one thing. He was the, um, the space they had in between people, in between cars here in Switzerland. And for me, it was crazy at that time. I was like, what do you mean the space? And then I got to realize, you know, another reality, uh, which is this one. This is Lagos, Nigeria, 20 million people. And from that point on, I understand, uh, or I understood the vision of Seed Stars. Uh, at Seed Stars, we have one mission, and one only. It's to impact people's lives in emerging markets. And we believe in two things to do that, entrepreneurship and technology. Uh, to achieve that goal, we've built uh, different companies, different tools. Uh, we can come back to that later if you want, but basically what we do is we build co-working spaces, we invest in startups, we have an academy where we teach young entrepreneurs how to build startups, uh, we have an acceleration program. And we do all this just to focus on our goal and just to achieve our goal on how to impact people's lives because we believe and we know that the entrepreneurs, if we give them the best ecosystem to thrive, they will be able to impact people's lives. Uh, so what does it mean to impact people's lives? Uh, there's many different ways of seeing that. One way would be to look at um, the GDP per capita, for example. And if we look at the, the next slide, uh, or the one after, thank you, uh, you can see that huge difference you know, between, uh, let's say, emerging markets, North America, and Europe. And as entrepreneurs ourselves, this is an opportunity for us. This is where we can make a difference. So maybe let's look at the next slide and a uh, and, um, concrete example of what happened. Back in 1965, the GDP of South Korea was just two times bigger than Nigeria, just two times. A few years later, it's 22 times bigger. So what happened there? Well, a few things, of course, uh, but let's focus on the two major uh, forces at play here. First of all, the public um, sector. What did they do? Can we have the next slide? Thanks. So public sector, Next one, thank you. Uh, first thing they did, I'm sure you all know these brands, or at least own one of them. Uh, they focused on one niche, technology, electronics. And the second thing they did was they started investing uh, in education. If we can get the next slide. For every dollar spent in education, you generate 10 and 15, between 10 and 15 uh, in economic growth. And that's what they did. And if we see the next slide, we can clearly see the change that started to happen when these guys started investing in, uh, in education. And that's one thing, you know, as I said, you know, there's many different things that South Korea did, but that's the two major forces that played a, a major role in, in, the, in the 22 times uh, that we've talked about earlier. Uh, private sector, now that's us. What can we do to help uh, entrepreneurs? Uh, yeah, you can go to the next slide, that's fine. Uh, why do we believe that helping entrepreneurs will truly make a difference? Um, over the next decade, we're going to have one billion people joining and entering the job market. Young people joining and entering looking for a job. And we know that 90% of the jobs are created by the private sector. And the companies that create the most jobs, if we can have the next slide, uh, are between one and five years old. These ones are the SMEs, the startups. They're led by the entrepreneurs. Uh, and that's why we believe we can truly make a difference and we can truly achieve our mission of impacting people's lives in emerging market through helping the entrepreneurs achieve their goals. Uh, now, according to a Nesta study, 6% uh, of the uh, companies in the UK were generating 50% of the jobs and 50% of the GDP growth. 6% of the companies. They're called high-growth companies. Who are these companies? Technology companies, of course. And at Seedstars, we focus on these 6%, these high-growth companies. That's fine. We can go to the next slide. The next slide. Um, maybe I can give you, uh, you know, remember, when we talk about technology, remember that it took us 100 years 
uh, to go from zero to one billion consumer, and it took us 10 years to go from zero to one billion smartphone users. We're just starting to see how technology will affect our lives. The only thing we can be sure of is that it's going to be big and it's going to go fast. The rest, we'll just see. Um, maybe I can give you a quick example of, of the kind of companies I'm talking about here. If we can go to the next slide, uh, the one after. Cool. Um, OK, hi. These guys are basically using technology to give every person on the planet a physical address. There's still more than 4 billion people out there without a physical address, and they're going to use technology to solve that problem. Uh, the next one is uh, Totus Power. These guys are using uh, old car battery to uh, power schools in emerging markets, and the way they do it is basically uh, they can get it done for six times cheaper and ten times more powerful than all the different batteries that you can find now on the market. Uh, another one would be MCOPA. I'm sure a lot of you have heard about them. Uh, it's basically a solar power system that you can install in your house. They're mainly in Africa for now, and you basically pay everything with your, uh, with your phone. And the last one is Indigo Drones. These guys are flying around drones uh, in Costa Rica to help farmers with the crop management. Uh, and of course, you know, these are just a few examples of the kind of companies that I'm talking about, these 6%. Uh, percent. Uh, because it's these guys, it's these kind of companies that will truly make things happen, that will truly uh, change the world as we know it, and, and truly impact people's lives in their region, in their countries, uh, and in their cities. Thank you very much.